Japan strikes Pearl Harbor and America is at war. The aircraft carrier Enterprise leads the U.S. Navy as it strikes back. Now Enterprise is about to face the massive Japanese fleet at Midway. The main force of Japanese ships headed toward Midway include four aircraft carriers, seven battleships, 150 support ships, 248 carrier aircraft, and some 15 submarines. The American Armada is substantially smaller. Three aircraft carriers, 50 support ships, 233 carrier aircraft, 127 land-based aircraft on Midway Island and eight submarines, outnumbered nearly two to one. Six months after Pearl Harbor, this is all that is left of America's Navy. The carriers were not present at the sneak attack. The Japanese realize U.S. Navy aircraft carriers are still out there and are still dangerous. So what we need to do is get rid of their aircraft carriers and then set up one more outpost further out into the Eastern Pacific. Dawn, June 4th, 1942. USS Enterprise floats near the exact center of the Pacific. A force of 109 Japanese aircraft appear over the atoll. They tear into the American base. 7 a.m., reports of the attack on Midway reach the Enterprise. The flyers scramble to prepare for their launch. They'll have to fly nearly two hours to reach the Japanese ships. The Japanese carriers are hit by bombers. I aimed at the big red circle at the front. Enterprise's first attack on the Japanese fleet is breathtaking. The outnumbered flyers of Enterprise have wreaked havoc on the Imperial aircraft carriers. He could look back and he could see the three big balls of fire, and it was, there were the three Japanese ships that were on fire. Now there's only one Japanese carrier left, the Hiryu. Just before 11 a.m., Hiryu launches its bombers, a retaliatory strike. The first American carrier that lands in the Hiryu bomber's sights is USS Yorktown and three bombs make direct hits on Yorktown's flight deck. At mid-afternoon, a second wave of bombers arrives from the Hiryu. Two of the torpedoes score direct hits on Yorktown's port side. The listing deck is a serious problem for Yorktown's flyers. The angle means the Yorktown's aircraft have no place to land. There's only one hope for the stranded flyers of Yorktown, the deck of Enterprise. But there's one more enemy carrier out there. After more than an hour in the air, the dive bombers from Enterprise and Yorktown come in range of Hiryu. When Cleese dives, it's a direct hit. The bow of Hiryu is torn apart. Fire spreads below decks. The Japanese Navy chooses to sink her. Admiral Yamamoto's plan to trap the American carriers has backfired spectacularly. In a single battle, four Japanese carriers are sunk. One cruiser is scuttled. 228 Japanese aircraft destroyed, and 3,000 Japanese sailors and crewmen are killed. Although the American losses include one destroyer and the carrier Yorktown, it is the most surprising victory in the annals of U.S. naval warfare. The epic naval clash off Midway Island changed the face of the Pacific War. It proved that America could not only fight back, it could win. Admiral Yamamoto and the Japanese High Command are shaken. They have awoken the giant and felt its wrath. Young people in large numbers came out and joined what became known as the Red Guards. These largely terroristic organizations were used to publicly humiliate, assault, and in some cases, even murder political enemies of Mao and the Communist Party.